Hello there, and welcome to my weekly round recap. This week I find myself in the CCE circuit playing the Back to the Coocher Classic at Mirhoffen Golf Club. This week's course was set up for some really Mike low scores. Scott. On day one, I started off slow after a birdie on one, I was one under by the fourth hole where I miss hit this flop shot leading to a bogey and dropping me back to even on the round. That luckily would be the only bogey of the round. I would go on to par the fifth hole and then start a birdie train on six after a dart into the green. Pens flyers earlier. Bye. Thank you. Right. Let's get under par and stay under par, please. Thank you. That would be the start of nine straight birdies from hole six through fourteen. Some of those holes were among the easy ones on the course, but there were some nice shots, like a solid putt on eight and this shot on the tough par 3 13th among the mix. After those nine birdies, I would cap the round off with one more on 16 for a 10 under round for day one. Advancing into the second round, I would find myself in the heavy rough right after the first tee shot. That wouldn't stop me, however, from making this nice approach and capturing the birdie to start the round. I once again would give back my first birdie of the round after missing a putt on three. I would then go on to get redemption on the fourth hole, however, that I bogeyed on day one by getting a nice little birdie after dropping this one in. I would go on to take care of business through some of the middle holes, bringing me to 6 oh, yeah, under by 13, down, and I would be able to can this one to drop to 7 under. To follow that up, I would have this little 9 footer on 14 to bring me to 8 under, however, that's not how that went. I lost one of my hats, I don't know why the oh, fuck I'm no. kind of upset. Oh, kill Brad. Brutal miss putts would leave me with a bogey on the par 5 14. It seems like each tournament I'll have one of those holes and maybe even a couple throughout the tournament and it just seems like it's all about the nerves. The However, you just gotta move on and keep your head high and hopefully bounce right back. I'd be able to salvage the round with another birdie after dropping a dart in on 17. However, avoiding those poor putts will be a key in my advancement to the next circuits. Coming into round 3, I'd be at 17 under, put me quite a ways back on the leaderboard with all the low scoring. However, after making this night's putt on 6, I really start to dial in for some of my best play of the tournament. birdies on seven and nine I'll be able to roll this beauty in for my first eagle of the tournament I think this is dead straight we got three of them going right to left but we got two at the end going right to left to right They're playing a touchy the ones at the end are going to be doing a slight bit to the right uh, one at the end they're going to be coming I wouldn't be done there either. After another couple birdies on 11 and 12, I would then pull this touchy putt out on 14 for another eagle to bring me to 6 under through the first 5 holes on the back 9. I 
I'd go on to cap off the round with four more birdies on 15 through 18, a 10 under 26 on the back, and 14 under 58 on the day. One shot off the best round on round three at 15 under. That round would bring me right back to the middle of the leaderboard and I would need a nice round four to bring me to the top 50 position where I was hoping to be. Round four would take a little bit to find my first birdie. I would, however, grab one on the fourth hole after finally hitting a nice shot into this green. My lines and tempo were really starting to feel well at this point, and I found myself with a one-foot birdie putt on five after this approach. No bogeys in round three, and up until this point in round four was really critical on my scoring up to this point, uh, as well as rolling in a fast putt or two like this one on 11. One thing to hold me back for sure was my aggressive play on round four, really trying to shoot low to bring myself all the way up the leaderboard. I would find three bunkers on the day, including this one on 12, where I was, however, able to get up and down for a nice little birdie. Back on 14 again, this three wood shot would help me back to back eagles on this hole in rounds three and four really emphasizing how poor my bogey in round two probably cost me a couple of strokes against the field. However, I still would be able to play the hole at four under on the week. cap off the tournament, I'd have a couple more birdies on 15 and 17 to bring me to 11 under on the round before I decided to give one more shot away, another bogey on 18. After a bad approach, I decided to have another, even worse shot with a flop up and over the green. I was able to get to 10 under on the day, a solid round by any means. 62 and 41 under a very low score in most weeks however with these easy conditions i'll likely find myself just inside the top 100. next week's course ogopogo golf club is another easy one similar play style to this and could actually produce some even lower scores if you'll believe that 10 under 41 in the tournament I played a few practice rounds and was chatting with the course designer. It definitely seems like it can be the case. I think my goal will be hopefully to crack 50 under, so you know, 12, 13, 14 under uh, rounds, and ideally have a bogey-free tournament. I did have one, or I'm sorry, four total on the tournament uh, this week. Thanks as always for watching. Be sure to like the video if you've enjoyed and check out my course preview videos by subscribing to the channel. You'll get notifications for those. If you want to watch my live round coverage over on my Twitch channel as well, twitch.tv backslash killbride10. Drop a follow there. It really helps support and you'll get no live notifications when I come online. Eagle Until next time, baby. ciao. Let's go.